It's been two years since the June 2014 floods destroyed over 50,000 tons of banana within a period less than 72 hours at Nikki Plantation in Ivory Coast, which has now resumed normal production. The flood that had completely destroyed 1,300 hectares of banana, which represents 22% of the national production, estimated at 300,000 tons, had completely degraded most agricultural plantations. The floods made it difficult to harvest banana and also to transport them to the market. It had also threatened 1,500 direct jobs and 10,000 families that were directly depending on banana cultivation. Nikki Plantation is now on the revival state after the European Union and the government came in to reawaken the sector. That's been on the road. Uh... 4 million euros, of which 80% was grant support from the European Union and 20% was loaned from the SCB. We appreciate this because we have been able to convert, rebuild fairly quickly what had been destroyed because banana farming is an activity which occupies much of the world. The European Union had announced to spend 45 million euros in Ivory Coast to revamp the almost vanquished banana production. This was also done to improve banana exportation to Latin America. This recovery has made thousands to resume their jobs at farms, making them earn a living once again. We were dismissed two years ago and we've now resumed duties. Production is now as good and everything is working well. You can even come and see. After the floods in 2014, we can see that everything has resumed well. We had lost almost 840 hectares to flood by then, but today we have managed to recover all our land and everything is progressing. Banana farming is mostly associated with the northern parts of Ivory Coast. The country is now aiming at producing at least 21,000 tons of bananas annually starting from 2019 to revitalize rural economy in the north of the country. The project is expected to create more than 700 direct and indirect jobs to help more than 4,000 people. Until now in Ivory Coast, which is the Africa's second largest producer and the 13th world largest producers of banana, the production of fruits was limited to the wooden areas of the nation.